So, Reeve, would you say it's high noon? I mean, if you did say that, it'd be, you'd be an idiot because it's 6 a.m. Now we do it all over again. Where is here? Are we really? Oh, I knew it. We are home, aren't we? What? Another Diamond Dogs facility? Oh my god! Playing message. Hello again, everyone. Do me a favor and don't move for a moment. So we're in Africa now? Well, the Africa from Melgasol 5. Hate to break it to you, but your journey's not over yet. I'm sure you have plenty of new questions, but first, let's get you somewhere safe. So what, we're just in a different spot in the world? Good luck's message. That son of a bitch. He's 
still screwing with us. The man is dead. Get angry all you want, but what good will it do now? What was that he meant by the fate of mankind resting on this mission? One thing does come to mind. It has to do with why Mr. Gruen wanted you to increase the output of the digger. To lure the Lord of Dust? I suspect it was because he was trying to bring the Lord of Dust into our world. What? That level of output truly was unnecessary for us to return home. He likely wanted to increase its size in order for the Lord of Dust to be able to go through it. But why would he want that? Gruen wanted to secure a large energy source, it would seem. After all, the Lord of Dust contains a massive amount of energy, far greater than any wanderer. But if something like that ended up in our world? Total fucking Armageddon. It would pose an extremely high threat to the planet. This is only a guess, but I think Good Luck wanted to destroy the Lord of Dust to prevent Gruen from getting his hands on it. In that case, you really could say the fate of mankind rests on this mission. Please, people it's kind. nothing to do with me. <laughs> Reeve! As far as saving the world and Good Luck's mission goes. But it looks like we're gonna have to take out that thing in order to get home. We might not be so lucky next time it attacks. Well, all right then, it's settled. Let's go find this Charon survivor Good Luck was talking about. I will continue to provide mission support, assuming you all trust me. Sorry for doubting you before. We have faith in you, Virgil. Let's make it home together. To facilitate exploration of this region, begin by activating the wormhole so, transporter. I have to do a so, new base you'll camp. First need to secure the data on the memory board in this area. We detect wanderers here that weren't present at our previous location. Take great care when searching for the memory board. All right, let's see what this new area has in store for me. I didn't have any customization options of base camp. So either this is a temporary location. Or. Or it's just, it's just an area where I can't customize uh, base camp. Knock those goats the fuck out. Ah, the dust again. That's great. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Evil plants! Grab her. Now this is an interesting locale. Stab this one. Yeah, fuck you. Boom. Shut up. Shh. You don't see me.
Here you creepy crawling motherfucker. Bam. I have a few questions for this Charon Core survivor. Like, what the fuck? That's one of the many questions I have. Now, this area is much more familiar than the than than the uh, original spot I was at. Son of a bitch! Yeah, come on, come at me, as I got your friends. Yeah, bitches ain't shit! Now, it's a lot harder to see these grabbers in the tall grass. Hey, come here! Ah. Right, there's the motherboard. I'm gonna grab that box first. I hear it. Where is it? There you are. Slippery little bastard trying to make me eat my greens! You're nothing. Your stock's a celery! Diamond Dog Combat Pants, Shock Rod, Two Oh, I almost freaked the fuck out for a second. That there's like ghosts or race things. Oh, that thing grabbed me. No wonder it's called the Grabber. Come here! Try it! Ah, oh, god damn it! Give me that. Stabby, 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 stabby! Yeah! That was so money! It's a great day. In hell! I see you. I see you. 
Fucking weird bastard. Alright. So the diamond dog symbols and everything can't be like an accident or whatever. So. It's not how Metal Gear games work. Ooh. All right, lay down me, Virgil. What do we have? Wormhole transporter is up and running. You can now use it to move around this area. Captain, there is one other thing to report. We scanned the area for the communications code that was on the memory board you recovered. We've detected a device that's using it. It may be the Karen survivor good luck mentioned. Head for the location where the device was detected. Yay! Alright, so I'm pretty pissed off right now. I've just been recording for the past two hours. And my game capture has crashed twice. So I'm going to try and recap as best as I can. During these four minutes of peace. So. I came to the jungle. I probably saw footage of that. I found the guy who has my arm. I don't have footage of that. Uh, he's being suspicious. And then I met, his name is Seth, by the way. Then I met Dan. Yeah, his name is Dan. Uh, Seth said he's been killing some people. But Dan seems mentally sound. So we don't know what the fuck is going on. And, uh, I found some clothes. Uh, I got this bitch a new bow. You know, pretty swaggin'. And, uh... Let's see. Uh, I'm, I have braces now. So I'm having a hard time talking. And it's putting pressure on my teeth. And I'm mad as hell now. Because of this. Not because of the braces. The braces, I don't feel any pain from the braces right now. Of course, everyone thinks I'm gonna be pissy because of the braces. So they treat me like I'm a pissed off, like hostile animal, and that pisses me off. Oh look, people to vent my frustrations on. Things haven't been great. Oh, also another another big thing. The thing I'm currently extracting. The thing I've been working so hard that it's fucking crashed. Like, Elgato's crashed twice trying to record. Sehoanthropus is here. Hey, hello. His little robot peen gun is right here. I'm about to extract it to shoot at the Lord of Dust or something. Things are getting real suspicious here. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that mine. Here's another one. Hopefully it doesn't blow me up. There it is. I think my controller's dying too. So that's awesome. Nope, I still have vibration, so it's fine. Wish the explosions maybe a little bigger. God damn it! It doesn't give me the counter indicator! Yeah, things haven't been great. I mean, I'm liking this game. I'm having some fun here. But these technical issues with the Elgato are really pissing me off. This is coming out of nowhere, too. It's coming out of nowhere. I was working just fine when I was recording the Rainbow Six Siege outbreak. It's only crashing now. For no reason. I haven't done anything. Oh, that was so fucking money. But, but uh, I'm, I'm venting my frustrations right now. It's just really annoying when things that are supposed to work normally and have been proven to work just fine in the past just suddenly decide to stop working. Like one time, uh, I was playing Fallout New Vegas. And then, and then I was playing just fine. And then literally the next day, the, my computer took away my permission to play it. Said you do not have the permissions to play this game. Like ad the controls the controls have been taken to you from the admin. Like I'm the fucking admin. Fuck! God damn it! God damn it! Captain. Captain. I dare say. Don't.
Don't you fucking say it! You know what's also great? This thing is 15 minutes. 15 minutes of bullshit. Gotta play the fucking quiet game here. And you lost the quiet game, Virgil! Ah, killed your friend. No! God damn it! Why the fires would spread like my rage. They are. I can kiss my ass, you steroided freaks. Ow! I do not need this. Yeah, good thing you're retarded. Okay, not safe right now. Let's gonna put up more fences. When in doubt, block them out. And mines. I need mines. I'm setting the water on fire. That's how mad I am. Oh, shit. Get some other load. This is gonna be the toughest man and a half of my life. No, 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 no. This thing really needs an upgrade. Do this. Yep, these guys are worthless. I can just sit back for the last couple seconds. Yes! Fuck yes! Finally! Holy shit! I am so erect right now! Hardest I've ever been! That's right, you picked that you picked that schlong bot up. Oh 
Oh, it's beautiful. Son of a bitch. He screwed us. Seth betrayed us. He's taken Chris hostage. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I can't believe I gave him a chance to. Damn it. Seth, why? Don't blame yourself, Reeve. You did very well indeed. He's gonna pull off his face and reveal he's someone else. You bastard! That's close enough! Someone. What an asshole picking on the disabled black child. What's your game anyway? What could you possibly gain by doing this? You'll find out soon enough. All you need to do is stand back and watch. Is he gonna am I gonna have to fight some philanthropist? Okay, Virgil. Your turn. Activate the wormhole transporter. Destination. Base camp. We cannot accept that order. <laughs> That's AI for you. You don't care what happens to this child, do you? Activating transporter. No, we can't. We can't endanger the entire crew just to save Chris. It. Activating. Good. Now come with me, Virgil. There's something else I need from you. Understood. Wait. Our actions in this matter have been irrational. Just go along with it. We have to do what he says. Been paying attention, partner? Meet me back at base later. Become one of us. Who's you us? Do what I say. I'll release the boy. But you better come alone. If I see anyone else, I'll kill the boy right then and there. Got that? You heard the situation, Captain. Get back to the FOB. Man, out of the frying pan. Shit! Things are really heating up. Scared of dying now all of a sudden? That stench. You're just like I was when I ended up here and gave up on living. That's the stench of despair coming from you. Also, I shit myself. You're right, you know. I won't live to see 20 with my disease. If you're going to kill me, you might as well just do it. Come on, Nick Fury, that's not way to talk. You gotta believe. Poor child. But you needn't worry. Simply join us, and you shall despair no more. You keep saying us. Who's us? You're working with others? Indeed. We are everywhere. We are very well acquainted. Metal Gear. Don't tell me. The Wanderers. Yes. Wanderers. But there is more. What you call the dust. That is our true form. Somehow he sounds less crazy than the liquid. A calm, sophisticated intelligence. Far more evolved than mankind. And I will control them with this R. Wait, that'd be more fitting with me, actually. That is who we are. The Dread Dust. And somehow still less crazy than Vamp. Dread the dust. literal vampire. What is that exactly? We began as an invention of your world. Medical nanomachines. Nanomachines, son. Oh, so set to be controlled by the nanomachines? By the dust? We possess the ability to absorb the properties of any kind of matter. But as our numbers grew, we started to develop new traits those of a colony these included infecting intelligent life so is this tie in with Mel Gear rising with Armstrong's nanobots generating energy the 
nanomachine, nanomachine you son. To generate your wormholes. That is created when we coalesce and crystallize. Surely no one is more aware of our magnificence than you. Oh no. But Seth, unlike other wanderers, a substantial part of your human personality appears to remain. Why is that? It was determined that this would be the most effective avenue to achieve our goal of endless propagation. It certainly was when it came to bringing the majority of the Charon Core into the fold. How could you do such a thing? Such a thing? Child, our physical forms have no individual intelligences of their own. Not in the truest sense. The dust has been dispersed. I'm playing the Middle Gear text adventure right we now. We continually send and receive information with one another. This enables us to exist as a colony with one will and one intelligence. So you see, it is a wonderful thing. So it's not magic or supernatural shit, it's nanobots. That's more Metal Gear than nor conflict Metal, Metal Gear than the other stuff. There is no greater form of companionship. That means there's no cure, Miranda. Fuck you. But sadly, there is hardly anyone or anything left in this world to join us. That is why we've turned our sights to yours. Our arrival will bring the peace mankind has yearned for for 10,000 years, yet has failed to achieve. Wait, hold on, 10,000 years. Is that how long Dite's been covered by nanobots? Or is that how long humanity's been around? That's, both goes could be plausible. Well, 10,000 years for humanity, I think is right. I think is right. That cannot be called peace. It's called submission. And I'm not for it. You have been poisoned by the humans, Virgil. AIs like you two should be on our side. But it looks like no amount of talk is going to convince you. So we're just going to have to take the information we need. What is he doing? What? Where? It, AI network intrusion. Uh, uh, anomaly detected. Virgil! Don't you try to move. Ah. <laughs> Finally, the wormhole control technology we've been waiting for. Now all that's needed is the power of Sahelanthropus. Metal Gear. What? He's gonna pass Sahelanthropus. You're not gonna get it because the captain's gonna stop. Or not. It's okay, Nick Fury. You're too young to be a hero. To this, God damn it!